So my question is about the death portal. I come from a part of the country where there is a lot of allows assisted physician assisted suicide. And There's a lot of assisted physician assisted suicide. When people choose that, does that affect their soul growth? Do they have to come back and redo that? It's a very good question. Now, we'll give you some background on this. When the Anunnaki's first starting some of their genetic experiments hundreds of thousands of years ago, they couldn't get the spirit of beings to animate the life forms. And then the, when the spirit would come in some of their cloned life forms, remember you can make a clone but some kind of something's got to activate it. When people die, the life force leaves, the blood's still there, but there's nothing to turn the engine on. You get it? So they needed beings to turn the engine on of these clones they were making. They finally figured it out to get some of the beings to come in. The beings would come in, and the beings would be there for a while, and they'd say, this is no fun, and they started suiciding. This isn't fun, why are we in this? We're trapped in these Anunnaki dead-end uh, 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 bodies. So they started at one point in the genetic experimentation, the Anunnaki's had to deal with their genetic experiments self-annihilating. It panicked them. Every experiment for a long time would self-annihilate, self-destroy. Hence, the great forbidden stricture of never commit suicide, never take your life. Because if the beings kept taking their lives, the Anunnaki couldn't get workers. You follow? What you have <clears throat> forgotten how to do is to leave of your own volition. Some of the Anunnaki experiments, their suicide was to leave by their own volition. They didn't slit their wrists or take medications. They said, we're out here. At one time, it was much easier for humans to will their spirit out. Of course, this became a great threat for those who could do it. Women were called witches, men were called warlocks if they could bilocate, if they could OOB, or if they could say, you think you are going to torture me? Go for it, I'm finished. It was a fail-safe ability if you needed it. Do you understand? Rather than to be destroyed or be stuck or be tortured, the body is built as a built-in uh, uh, what would you call it, a parachute exit doorway, that if you knew how to use it, you could extricate yourself in time of difficulty. Your struggles with dying show how far you have dissociated yourself with knowing how to use the biological computer that you are.